Well, this morning we're raising our spirits and getting into the fall mood with Jan Ornston, president of American Lawn Corporation, and she is here now to show us how to spruce up our yards and keep up the curb appeal even as the seasons are in transition. Thank you for joining us Hi, this Q. morning. Thank you. Thank you for having nice to me. Meet you. Thank you for having me. All right, so I walked out here, and the first thing I said was, is this real? This is real. <laughs> so what is this? Because it's beautiful. We have white hydrangeas that uh, turn into the brown color, the fall color. They make a nice, beautiful pot for Christmas time. I've taken a few pine tree branches and, yeah. and cut them down, put them in a pot. We have some pine cones. We have some curly willow. You can also add a nice red velvet ribbon to the pot mm -hmm. and for festive Christmas uh, decorating. Um, so is this dead? This is dead. Okay, yes. So well, the brown, the brown turn is hot dead. Pink again. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. this, the white is still changing. It's in color mm -hmm. formation right now. All right, but you said that this will last pretty much all winter. This like will this? last all winter. What happens is the the freezing temperatures will turn the uh, soil very frozen, where mm -hmm. everything is like glue stuck inside. It won't even blow away on a good wind. And not really expensive. Not I expensive love that. at all. Now you can't go anywhere without seeing mums, mums, and more mums, and they come in a variety of colors and you Mom's have quite a few word. examples here with we, something else extra too. We also have some beautiful purple kale with the colder nights the purple kale does radiate into a deeper color purple. Um, you can also use the purple uh, kale in your Christmas pot. It will last till about December or January. Um, it stays nice in color and uh, and the mums themselves as well. If you select some mums that have uh, the buds on them with open blooms, you'll get maybe two weeks, three weeks. All right, so you're, you're saying when you go to pick out your mums, you want to buy them with these little buds closed. When yes. you see the big, beautiful ones all full, they're pretty much at the end. They're of pretty the much at the end. You might be lucky to have a week out of them. Um, okay. I selected a nice, beautiful orange mum with closed buds, so maybe three weeks off this plant. Okay, all right, and not just mums, pansies as well. We have pansies. Pansies. Um, what I like to do is when I do plant my pansies, um, I like to plant about six pansies together, uh, either in a pot or in your garden bed. And you leave it loose like that? You don't fill it well, in? Well, no, okay, I cheated a little your, bit. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, there wasn't any dirt, so. But, I was like, that is easy, Jan. I can but do that. If, yeah, but if you take your pansies and plant in your garden bed, you'll have um, the dirt, and you just dig a little bit bigger hole, but you get a beautiful color off the pansies if you do about six together. I know, this looks like something that I. Oh, this is a hosta. <laughs> okay. It, it used to be a nice green hosta during the summertime. And what we like to do in the, at this time of the year, although you have a nice color orange, you may mm -hmm. want to keep it around. But all you have to do is prune back your your hosta and trim it back. And you won't be looking at a dead hosta over the winter time. Okay, and it'll come back nice and green next it year. It will come back. It'll grow nice and green for the summertime. Right. And the time we have left, left let's hop on over all here. Right. And let's talk about mulch we we have um, we have mulch and a lot of, a lot of people half the homeowners have mulch in their beds and what happens with the mulch you need to aerate your mulch you need to take a rake just lightly fluff it freshen it it, it does get hard the rain that falls on your mulch um, and the sun beats on it the sun will uh, turn it a color a light gray but by freshening it like this you have a whole new look with mulch and it looks like uh, a new installation. Yeah, and then you're all ready and set for winter, and then yes. in spring you do it all over again. Yes, and one thing I should add, you should always wear your garden gloves when you are in your garden beds. That way you keep your nails all Protect nice and pretty nails. like yours. Protect your nails, yes. I don't have that problem, no nails. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jane. Thank you, Q. And for more information on American Lawn Corporation, go to our website, mypodsdetroit.com. We will be right back.